John Force's team now at the ready line with their freshly tuned up, retuned up, shuffled around car as they get ready to fire up and now do fire up against Alexis Jajoria and the Bandero Tequila team. Final two cars, Ron Caps number one. John's been bumped all the way down to six. Alexis is 10 as they roll in here. The Gazoo Supra for Alexis DeJoria. They're definitely due for a breakout weekend. They've had a good car. They've knocked down some rounds here and there. Just haven't had that. You know, I, people have said for a million years, if you want to win one of these races, you need one lucky round. It seems like a number of times they were certainly within striking distance and just ended up on the wrong side, wrong place at the wrong time out there in Sunday eliminations. But they got a solid team. They certainly are going to contend for the championship. I do believe coming down the wire. The Blue Def. Hornwell Tools Chevrolet over here for JFR. And JF himself. Sit yeah. back in there. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, my, my apologies, Alan. I'm just real curious as to what it was with John Force. Hopefully John Kernan can extract that information after the run. We'll see how he goes. And I spoke to Nicky Bonafonte right before this run. You going to step on it? What can you do out there? He says the low 90 is obviously possible. We just got to go out there and do it. Well, Guido said somebody's going to run an 86. And if nobody does, I'm going to give him the Pinocchio Award. Three point nine oh three. How about the speed? Three hundred thirty miles an hour. Norwalk. John Force is going to slide into number two spot, but that is top speed. No, Bob Tasca actually got top speed at three thirty one. Alexis goes three ninety three and steps up and well. So Ron Caps going to end up in the number one spot. John Force two. Robert Height three. Bob Tasca four. Those four separated by total of seven thousandths of a second. Then Matt Hagen, five. Lexus DeJoy, six. J.R. Todd Cruz, Pedregon, rounding out the quick eight. Well, that was a fun little funny car qualifying session, but we never did get our 86. John, can you find out what was going on down there with John Force's car, why they went back to the pits? Hey, Alan, you hear me now? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, go ahead. You do hear me now? Yes. Okay, yeah, I talked to Fabrizi after they got back, and he said they were putting, took it back to put more cowbell in it. I guess they didn't put enough. Or, or no, they put not quite enough, but there you go. Maybe that's those uh, head gaskets you were talking about. It. They didn't put enough in at that time. More, well, not to go to number one, but that was a good run nonetheless. And that's what they say, all the crew chiefs, they say, you know, it needs more cowbell. No. No. 